Resident Evil. Yeah, I don't know what it is about Resident Evil games. Not counting the stuff that happened later on, but you know. Zero to three, kind of four. Why is it so replayable? I don't understand. Like, out of all the games, it's like this has got to be like one of the like coolest things to just play, you know. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, I don't think I have anything left to do in the mansion because I ain't got no shield keys useless. I don't have no number for the door pad. And then there was that one, I don't know, the crow thing. I mean, hopefully I don't gotta do anything with it at all. It's just whatever. And then I'll just, you know. Cause there's no notes. I've barely seen any notes in this. Aside from like the big cliffhanger or what happening at the mansion. Nothing about any of the traps or anything or nothing. Just any hints or subtleties to just, you know, fucking help. Please help me. I don't understand. Why did I use the stairs to get to this side? I really don't understand these fucking... Wait. I don't get it. Whatever, flip the fucking switch. Let me kid. Let me die. Oh, the birds! Oh, the birds! Oh, the birds! Dude, I don't know what the fuck to do in that room. Seriously, every time I flip a switch to any of the other freaking things, it just doesn't signify anything that's done. It just makes this noise. I can't really inspect anything too well except for descriptions it gives me. Holy shit, that almost got me. Nice. That was easy. The fuck. When the sun sets on the west and the moon rises in the east. <gasps> oh! <sighs> this is definitely different. What the fuck? Uh. There, I'll solve. There's a fourth one. Oh my god, I gotta do the stupid painting thing. How? Is that what they want? Oh my god, this figured out, dude. Oh! I looked at it once more and it was like... It's kind of telling the story because each one of them I read, it was like a baby and then it like... Progress to like some old man a life cycle of a human being it seemed and it was like okay And then it kept saying and then it was like life and death. So I figure oh, okay, so life From the beginning to the end so then I flip the switches from the beginning to the end so newborn baby to infant to toddler to young guy dude and old tired man and then old man and that was that. 
I guess it makes sense when you when you start thinking thinking things th thoroughly, you know, not 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 just haphazardly, just fucking. Ooh, I know there's something on those shelves. Let me get it. Get it. What are you doing? You were right there. Jill, come on, don't be like this, make me running around like this, something up here, gimme gimme, oh yeah, what's that, <gasps> a crane, oh, You know, if I ever ruin zombie apocalypse, make sure you have a a lock pick, a lighter, and a crank. That's what it seems like. We just need these three essential items. And they will uncover everything! Oh! They're fucking everywhere, dude! She's so quick on the reload. Beep, beep, beep. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Please respond. What the hell? Is nobody out there? Brad, this is Jill. Dude, just fly around in a helicopter whole time while we're in here. Is that literally all he's doing. I think he'd run out of gas. So I don't know how long they're in this mansion for. I think they say five hours on the wiki, right? Five hours to start at like I don't know. They clarified in the remake what time it was when they went out. To the forest. Oh man, there are multiple ways to go. Let's go down the spooky alleyway. Oh! Oh! Wait! 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 Map. The garden. Ooh. Let's go the other way. Yeah, but. Oh. Too bad, I guess. Got a crank for nothing. I mean, it's literally just discover and apply. So I have nothing left in the mansion aside from getting a helmet. Hey, okay, this looks familiar to me. It's the uh, the bees thing in this one. <laughs> it's the shark tank. Oh, look at that sea. Look at the graphics. A little cutscene. Epic. Dude. Fucking old PlayStation One graphics, dude. Ahead of its time, I tell you what. Oh shit! Oh, snake shit. <clears throat> trying to bite me. What the fuck are you? I got blue herbs. <laughs> oh, you fucking shitheads. I don't even have a heal. Oh, 
Look off! I'm literally dead in one more hit. Gotta bust out the big guns. Get past this point. Oh, fuck. Come on, doggy! Woo! I don't care, I wasted three shells in that shit. I was gonna live. What's this thing? What's that? Is it that elevator that's broken? I need a battery. I need a battery. Sorry. Okay. Go find a battery. What's this? Go! I didn't want to go. I didn't think this was this thing. Oh no, no, no! I'm not fighting no more stuff. I can't. I'll die. Fuck, I gotta go that way, man. Come on! Herbs. Pick up the fucking herbs. And then eat these two. There's some blue herbs that way too. Those goddamn blue herbs. Yeah. Yeah. You set up dude. Now I'm more confident. Nothing can kill me. Woo! Ah. And there it goes. <laughs> Round of applause that I survived that encounter stretch of more blue a lot of blue oh I don't trust that hole so can we push this in on top of that hole Zombie trying to grab my fucking feet or something? I don't think so. It's like the. Is that the first first aid spray I've ever seen? Picked up? Grenade. Explosive, I mean. Because this thing's called a bazooka, not a. Grenade launcher. Why is it called a bazooka? It shoots like exactly like a. Uh, uh, 
a grenade launcher. I'm gonna save this shit. Yes. There we go, everybody. One other episode knocked down. Five saves in. We're at the guardhouse. Thank y'all for watching. Have a great night.